then variation of variation of polar conductivity with concentration for weak electrolyte okay we know that on dilution on dilution what happens volume increases and the concentration decreases so what degree of difference we know that here i have already degree of difference increases and the number of ions also increases so what happens the molar conductivity ultimately or equivalent conductivity i think you got it in the Ultimately, we need to. Okay. Yes, sir. And and if you draw the graph for molar conductivity, yes, sir. Concentration, square root of concentration. This is for formic acid, and this is for acetic acid. And if this is a formic acid, the molar conductivity of formic acid is greater than in what? Acetic acid. Here we cannot apply D by Haeckel rule. Here for for infinite for weak electrolyte for weak electrolyte we cannot apply D by Haeckel rule. Calculation because why? Because we cannot, we are not able to calculate the molar conductivity on insider because in in weak electrolyte because it is not completely diluted. Okay, we cannot yes. we cannot calculate. Molar conductivity at infinite dilution. So here we are not able to apply the D by Haeckel. That is why D by Haeckel rule has limitation that it is only applicable in case of only strong electrolyte. Okay, for weak electrolyte we apply Colerot's law. Very important. So for weak electrolyte, so For so, for Roche law is applicable for both. It is applicable for weak electrolytes also, a strong electrolyte. For for Roche law, for weak electrolyte, we apply. We apply Colerot's law. Colerot's law, and Colerot's law for Colerot's law we can find both for weak electrolytes also, strong electrolytes also. Okay. So yes, sir. Colerot's law and one of one portion definitely going to come from Colerot's law. It is for sure. Okay. Yes, sir. You have written this. 
Yes, sir. Done. And Tolerance law is what? Tolerance law. Is also known as, or we can also say that, Tohal Ross law. Of independent migration of iron. Okay. For lots of independent migration of iron. Yes. So it is said that the ninth night television for me is the light. Equal to the conductivity of the light is equal to of the time. Plus, what are the connectivity and evaluation of an ion? An ion. Yes, sir. For example, if it is written as molar conductivity of NaCl, so applying up by applying the Tohal Ross law, we can write molar conductivity of the right direction of Na plus the molar conductivity of Cl minus. We add the adenine right direction. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. Okay. If B volume of cations and anions are present, it's for single volume. Okay. So if if we have one cation for B volume of the total of cations and B minus of an ion. The molar connectivity can be written as of electrolyte. And inside the region can be written as V total of cations, molar connectivity of cations plus VP volume of oxygen, volume of oxygen. Okay. So, written. No, one thing is
for example for example if it is written as like this molar collecting of al2 so for five so we can write it like what how many aluminum ions will form two this two molar collecting of al2 plus Five molar collectivity of inside of an ion that is SO four two minus. Got it? Yes, sir. This and this is very important, and this is valid for this column for both. Okay. So, what do you say? Your voice was getting cut. And this is valid for both strong electrolyte as well as weak electrolyte. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. So I am just giving you a question. Very important. Yes. The molar collectivity of NaCl at inside addition, this strong electrolyte is given as one twenty seven centimeters per mole inverse, and that is how. For molar conductivity of SCL is given as 420 mol centimeters per mole inverse, and molar conductivity of PSP3O and that is sodium acetate is given as 90 centimeters per mole inverse. So we have to find the molar conductivity of the acid because it is a weak acid and or a strong acid. Okay, got it? So, yes, sir. So we can write we can write the equation like for the first equation we know know that for the first equation we know that molar conductivity of for NaCl Na plus How we are going to solve it? The molar conductivity of Cl minus is equal to what? And Cl that is 125. This is first equation. Okay. Then molar conductivity of H plus plus molar conductivity of Cl minus it is what? 420. Okay. That is okay. Then molar conductivity of This three is N A plus and one E S B C double O minus two O nine. We have to calculate the molar conductivity. I remember it is like this very simple. Okay, of C double O N S. Okay. So what we can do? We can subtract equation number one from two. When we subtract equation, so how we have, we have to find the value. So what? So for this acidic acid, what will be the equation for four? For this, the equation will be what? Molar conductivity of of H plus I plus molar conductivity of what? Three double O minus I will give your molar conductivity of what? Three S three C double O. Okay. Can you clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So if you yes, get sir. get the molar conductivity of H plus I and three H I, so what we can do? First subtract 
equation number one from three. When you subtract equation number one from three, and and it get cancelled out. Okay, and we get the molar conductivity of CST OH minus and Cl minus. Okay. Oh so yes, sir. If you subtract equation three from one, what will get? So if you subtract it, so I am writing here. Three is here. So it will be three minus one, right? We're doing yeah. three minus one, right? Yeah. Yes, so, three, three double O minus. So if we subtract it, this is ninety. We subtract it, this is three. Nf plus plus Cl minus this is one twenty five. When you subtract it, what happens? This is minus, this is minus. This is get cancelled out. So it will be Nf molar conductivity of Cc COH minus molar conductivity of Cl plus will be equal to minus forty five. Okay, got it. Minus sorry, minus thirty five. Okay. Now yes, add to second. When add to second, when we add to second equation, molar conductivity of H plus ion plus molar conductivity of Cl minus ion plus four twenty. So this will get cancelled out. So we will get what the required equation? S H three C O minus plus H plus. I will get what? This is three ninety five. Okay, three eighty five. Got it? Yes, sir. This is how we are going to calculate. Okay. Yes, done. So I will give you more question. So today we I am having only one hour class because I have to go somewhere. Tomorrow we will solve more question of all that stuff. Okay, okay. Are you uh, are you decide are you doing the practice question? Because yes, I am doing practice question. Yes, sir. Because we are because we are going to complete uh, in the next class. I think we are going to complete it. Okay. So, only yes, sir. Only questions are left. So in the class, next class, that is tomorrow, we are going to com complete it. So I will be forwarding you more questions, and from next class, we will start that kind of chemical kind of. Okay. Um. Yes, sir. So by any chance today can we have a half an hour class later on? Because so uh, on Wednesday the exam is there, right? That's fine. Okay. Okay. Wednesday. Okay. 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 Because on Wednesday. Yes, sir. Chemistry exam. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That is pre, uh, that is pre board, na? No? Yes, sir, that is pre board, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, ah, uh, what I will tell? Can we have class or uh, one class or ah uh, at three uh, thirty Indian time? Ah, uh, ah, uh, half an hour. Three thirty. Ah. Ah, one second, sir. It will be two for you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's fine, sir. Oh, half an hour class, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Bye, sir.